G'day guys, welcome back to Cakes by Chopper. Today we have a lady beetle for you. Today you're going to start prepping your board with some green fondant and you're going to cut out the shape of a leaf. This is merely a decoration, it's not necessary but I think it looks cuter with the lady beetle sitting on a leaf. Once you've cut out the shape, put in the lines for the leaf. Most of this will be covered so it doesn't have to be perfect. And if you're not happy with the lines, you can just easily roll it out again and go over it like I did. Then you're going to start separating your cake. Find something that's a circular shape about the size you want the lady beetle. And cut out two of those and you're going to separate those cakes. And Because you only need three layers for your lady beetle body. Once you've cut your cakes in half, you can fill the three parts and then cover it with a crumb coat. This is just a plain vanilla icing that I've dyed pink. With the top layer, you're going to taper down the edges so you get a bit of a round body. And then cover it with the crumb coat. Pop it in the fridge to help let the butter set a bit so when you put the fondant on, it goes on a lot easier. Now with the last piece, you're going to cut it in half and then stack it up three. You can see there, I just cut it in half cut the shape out of two parts and then use the off cuts for the third then cover that in buttercream and once that's ready you can take out the body and then attach it to the body to give you your lady beetle shape now I put a little bit of extra buttercream over to help bond this together because the body is a bit cooler when you start pushing the buttercream together it sets and bonds quite well then you're going to roll out your fondant and cover it. Make sure you've done it big enough to cover the top, bottom and sides. Once the fondant is on, you want to just gently push it against the edge of the cake so there's no weight pulling down on it, which will give you tears in your fondant. By balling up the excess fondant and rubbing it over, you're going to get a smoother finish. This is a very easy tip as seen in some of my other videos. Now using the back of a knife, you're going to put in the line down the middle and on the head. Now for the colouring, I find it quite difficult to find red fondant, so I use the airbrush a lot. If you have access to red fondant that's pre-dyed, then by all means do the head and the body in sections, but I have the airbrush, so I use that. It's not a necessity for you. Give it a good coat over the back, making sure it's red. You don't want to leave any little blemishes or anything, so if you've got a nice red fondant, you won't have to worry about this. Then I've painted on the head detail, just giving it a good cover over, making it look shiny and glossy, just like the back end. And then rather than messing around with painting more fondant, I just painted the dots directly onto the back. This saves a lot of time and a lot of fidgeting. You can, if you like, if you're going to paint them, you can use a cookie cutter to put little indents in to give you like a nice neat circle, but I wasn't too worried. Once you've transferred your lady beetle over to the leaf, you're going to go with the knife and angle it so it's on a 45 degree angle and just push the edges of the lady beetle's side in and it just gives you a nice clean finish around the edge. This brings us to the legs. You're going to ball up six little balls of fondant. If you have the black, use that, but I just balled them up and painted them. And then these will be the feet. So just place them in the best position you think for the feet. This is up to your design. You can put them all to the front. You can spare them out all around. It's up to you. I like the three point each side. I just think it looks cute. And I made the back ones a little bit further. Same process for the eyes. You're just going to ball up some white fondant and I flattened them into a disc and put them on and then drew the little black circle. And for the mouth, I just made a little snake and pushed that on. We get to the antennas, which I used two halves of a skewer and I just rolled some fondant around it and left a little ball on top, painted them and popped them in. I think it looks really effective, it's the quickest way I found. It would look cuter with them curled but that's quite difficult with fondant that you're not going to let set. This is a very quick way to get it done. And there you have your lady beetle cake. Thanks again for watching guys, we'll see you next Friday.